think camper vans are boring and for old people, think again. For 1,588 days, this caravan was the home for Chen Hanbin and his team No U-Turn as they drove around the world covering six continents, driving for 220,000 kilometers. This was the first Chinese camper van to do an around-the-world journey. For Chen, it was all about testing his limits. The most important thing was the test of my capabilities. I learned how to speak Spanish, to fix cars, to get along with people of different races, religions, cultures, languages, to communicate, to solve problems on the fly. I'm a lot better at handling pressure now. Chen's exploits may inspire more international RV road trips. Right now, Organizations like 21RV.com are still educating the market. People read about it or see it on TV. They haven't seen it in real life. Starting from 2010, our expo center has held two exhibitions a year and an owner's convention. We invite manufacturers, interact, experience the lifestyle, and so on. China's camper van sales are growing at over 50% a year. That could be faster when China catches up building camping parks. Under current plans, 500 camping parks will be built. Their sizes will vary. In the future, 3,000 to 5,000 campsites need to be built. In our country, it's not an industry yet. You have to make it easier to register at the Public Security Bureau or for special industry registration at the Industrial and Commercial Bureau. Unlike in other countries, trailers are very rare in China due to tough license requirements. Because of the price difference, the Chinese market is dominated by local brands. More domestic automakers are getting in on the game. Even big automakers now are paying attention, like SAIC and Datong that have created special camper van models like automatic ones. Great Wall and Yutong have all gotten into the industry. Next stop for Chen and his camper van is the South Pole. Watch out as more Chinese tourists set off to see the world in RVs. Chen Lei for CCTV News.